Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is Friday. I don't know the date. <laughs> December. Let me think here. Gosh, it's pretty bad when you don't even know the date. Look at the sky. But it's Friday. I do know that. <clears throat> um, Friday, December the 11th. There we go. There it is. And uh, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Don't know when I'll get back on here again. I've only got one more week of picking up my daughter. That's next week. And then the kiddos are off for Christmas break. But can you believe our weather we are having? It is... Let me see here. Um, 73 degrees out there. 73! In December. This is crazy. This is why I'm not in the mood to do any Christmas baking. And I need to get busy. It's because it is 73 degrees. Now, tomorrow is supposed to rain, but it's still supposed to be warm. Now, Sunday, it's supposed to be cooler. It's going to be in the 40s. So, I guess Sunday I will do some baking. Don't have any plans Sunday anyway, so that will be my, that will be a good day to do baking. I'm all caught up on my Christmas cards, um, my labels as of today. I've got this little batch here to mail, and, um, but then my mailman hasn't ran today, so here's my nails. Can you see them? Can it, is it coming clear? Let me hold it up here. Yeah. I thought these were cute. I got these ones. They're at Dollar Tree. And uh, I've got some that are more, look like a, a candy cane ones. And I'm, I think I'm going to wait till maybe next week or the following week to change them out for those. I know my daughter says, you need to wear some that are Christmas. So I thought, well... Let me zoom in here better. If it wants to focus. Anyways, I thought, you know, they're red and black, kind of like Christmassy color, sort of. I liked it. I thought they were really pretty. So, I haven't found any new ones lately. Um, this was the last bunch that I bought at Dollar Tree. I got these, a black and white pair. And um, they remind me of candy canes. They're kind of a reddish pink and white stripe ones. So, but I haven't seen. I was at Dollar Tree. Let's see. When did, was the last time? I didn't go yesterday. The day before. Yeah, the day before I went. So I guess it was Wednesday is when I went to Dollar Tree, and I didn't see anything. You know, it amazes me. These Dollar Trees are just like, I guess, like any other stores. You know, how, I mean, how they've got the same stuff at, uh oh, is kids getting out? I know some kids are. But, uh, yeah, how these Dollar Trees got different things than other Dollar Trees do. Because I've seen so many people do hauls, and our Dollar Tree doesn't mean have this stuff. Our Dollar Tree was very late in getting Christmas stickers in. Because I was telling everybody, I can't find Christmas stickers. And everybody started sending me some. <laughs> and I thank everybody for that. And then, boom, seems like our Dollar Tree got them. But they were so late. So does everybody got their gifts wrapped and all that? I have done really good this year. Usually, I am one that never has time or I wait till almost the last few days before Christmas before wrapping and I've been wrapping them as soon as I get them so I've done pretty good I've got almost all my shopping done I've got to get stocking stuffers and I have no idea what to get my husband to put in his I've been racking my brain trying to figure out what you know and he's no help he isn't I asked him, I said, you know, hey, what's some ideas of Christmas I can get you? Oh, you don't have to get me nothing. I'm like, oh, please. <laughs> please 
don't even go there. So I don't know. I'll have to think of something. I've got um, all of next week to finish up shopping for my daughter. I'm just about done. I want to pick up a few more things and that's about it. But, <clears throat> but I like to get it when she's in school. And you know I can get them wrapped and put under the tree and she don't even know it. But that kid, let me tell you, she <laughs> she knows when, I mean, there is so many gifts under that tree now that it's like, I don't know, it, it looks like it exploded for some reason. And, uh, well, even my husband got his wrapped early, too. Yes, he did. And can you believe where he wrapped my gifts? I gotta tell you this. Anyways, back to where I was talking about first. Oh, yeah. I wrap a gift and I'll put it on that tree. My daughter can find it and say, when did this get here? I'm like, Ugh. it's like she knows. <laughs> but anyways, um, last Friday, last Friday, my husband went shopping. And uh, without me, I know. Can you believe that? Look at that pretty sky. Isn't that pretty? And uh, he got gifts. He had them out there in the car. And we ran around Friday evening. I had no idea they were in the car until Saturday. We were getting ready to go somewhere Saturday. And he says, well, before we do, he says, I need to get out there and wrap your gift. I said, it's out there in the car? He says, yeah. I said, well, won't you bring it in? I said, I'll go off into another room or something, you know. I won't look. You can wrap it in the bedroom. No, 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 I'll just do it out there. I was like, oh my gosh. He went out there to the car and wrapped my gift. <laughs> <coughs> so I, I cannot figure out what he got me. But he won't even tell my daughter because he knows my daughter would tell me. <laughs> I have no idea where she would get that from, but... So, anyways, um, last Friday, we went to, we have a place here, it's called Woolwark, it's W-O-O-L-R-O-C, A-R-C, yeah, there, Ugh, can't mean spell, <laughs> it's, um, it's a, like, oh, I don't know, what you, like, um, a wildlife preservative, preserve place, They've got buffalo that roam free out there. Of course, it's all, you know, got fence and all that around. But, I mean, it's... I haven't been out there probably since I've been in high school. It has been that long since I've been out there. And it's only, like, from where we live, it's about, um... About ten miles. <clears throat> but... I don't know. There's this... I just... Just haven't been out there since high school. And uh, my husband's never been out there. Well, during Christmas time, they run it from, uh, <sighs> sorry, um, it's like the end of November, I think, till the 20th of December, they do a Christmas light display thing. And I'm like, I wanted to go out there. I've never gone out there before, and this year we decided to go out there. And, I mean, it's so, it, that road is so dark out there. I, you know, I told my husband he could drive. I don't drive good at night. And I don't like to drive anyways when it's real dark in this, this time of the year because of the deer and stuff like that. So he drove it. Anyways, you get in this place and you have to drive way up there to get to the main part of the 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 land is up towards the front and then the main buildings are up way in the back so we get there we park and the first building we go into it's like their museum part and it's all on you know Indians and all that culture stuff like that and <clears throat> when we first got in the main lobby I was wondering why it was so crowded because Santa was there. <laughs> so we walked around the museum and looked around. And all outside is all lit up. They've got lit lights and everything. I tried to take a video. I think I took a little video. Not much. And I tried to take some pictures. 
Um, the weather wasn't bad. <sighs> it was pretty nice. I mean, he, he, of course, he had to have a jacket on, but, I mean, it wasn't freezing cold or anything. So, we went into that building, came on out of there. Um, then after we left that building, we went into, oh, we went to go, they had a tractor ride. They had like a trailer, a big old trailer thing hooked up to a tractor. And that took you around to the grounds to see the lights. And it was really cool. They had a horse, an Indian on a horse. And it was all lit up. And it was out there in one of the fields out there. That was really cool. My daughter thought it was a statue at first. And it started to move. And she was like, oh, that is real. So that was pretty cool. And then it dropped off at this one place. And we went inside. And they had... um hot cocoa or hot cider and cookies and uh, the hot cocoa was really good I got that and my husband got the hot cider they also had bottles of water if you wanted water then after that we walked around went to a couple other buildings and walked around some more and then we left it was really nice I really enjoyed it then from there I wanted we have a park here in town it's called Kitty Park and during the summer season, kids will be out. During the summer season, they have um, kitty rides for just kids. Well, during Christmas time, uh, it's called Fantasy Land of Lights, and the whole park is a drive-through thing. And you drive, and you turn your radio to a certain station and play Christmas music, and you listen to that as you drive around and see the lights. So we did that. And then last Saturday was um, our Christmas parade here in town, and we went to that. Enjoyed that a lot. And let's see. Um, you know, I just been this week. I just been working on my cards and my label orders, and um, yeah, just doing things around, keeping pretty busy. But this weather, I tell you, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. It's too warm. I like the cooler weather for December. I know. People are probably thinking, oh man, I like the warmer weather. But not me. Nope. So, well, I'm going to go ahead and close. My daughter will be getting out here anytime. So I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. And um, take care, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you.